What's going on gamers? This is me Ying and welcome back again to my channel. Today, I'm going to make another unboxing and a product review of our new gaming earbuds here from Tuzu. And this is the Tuzu G1. And what I like this earbuds is because I've been using this for almost two weeks. And within these two weeks, I have noticed a low latency around 45 milliseconds. And it's been into my ears for more than six hours of the battery life. And I really enjoying it walking down the street and also when I'm in the subway playing my games and what I like even though you're listening to the music and also playing to your games it can give you a dual mode at the same time and what I really like this earbud it's ultra lightweight so you can bring it anywhere and everywhere and even if you put it into your pocket it's very simple and very comfy and before I start this video if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe now and we're going to do some series of testing and unboxing of this Tuzu G1 what's inside the, this box right so here is the parcel which was sent to me by Tuzu and here you can see the box of the Tuzu G1 on the side you can see some different kinds of colors and at the back you can see the 45 milliseconds of a low latency make sure to have a Tuzu logo there to check the genuity and here it's an easy tear of a plastic of a box and what's inside of the box so first of all when you try to open here you can see the documentation so we have two manuals there and we have the five pairs of an ear tips which is unusual and a battery case a led light in front of it and a type c port and you can see the logo of the tuzu and we have that earbuds and the lower port we have two charging point and we have the type c connector with a decent length that we can charge the battery case and there is only one way to charge your tuzu g1 simply just put the type c connector and there you can see that the blinking of the led green light signifies that it is charging and even the buds that you can see it's still having the battery capacity and the tuzu g1 contains of a bluetooth 5 that which have a fast connectivity as you can see if you try to open the battery case all you need to do is try to confirm and manually connect it just like the other earbuds for the second connection it will automatically connect by simply opening the cargo now I have shown you what's inside of the Tuzu G1 and also how to charge the Tuzu G1 earbuds and how to connect them into our mobile device. Right now, we're going to test the work comfort, but first let me try to remove it, right? So here, it's very comfy, right? So you can hear the voice assistance there, secondary, right there. So hmm, it's a little bit of comfy and the earbuds there, right? So when you close it, it sounds like that, right? So let me try to move our head there, all right? So here we go. Very nice, so it really fit well. It's having an ergonomic design and again, right? So perfect for mild exercise, especially for gamers out there who are sitting. And if you really like to go out while playing games, it doesn't really fall down. So I've been using it a lot of times already and it gave me more than six hours of battery life. And what I like there, it's because uh, the sensitivity of the touch sensor is very sensitive. And right now, we're trying to listen the sound quality. Right, so that was the sound quality of the earbuds and let me try to put the earbuds into the battery case okay so let me try to open it up right so it's actually going to have a two angle there which is uh, let me see the 45 degree angle and also the 90 degree angle open of the cargo there right so if you try to open up only 45 degrees right so that I'm it might be that the earbud will not fit Right, so make sure to have a 90 degree open there All right so there you go okay and uh, it's magnetic it's really tough so you can see it's really tough of a cargo there hmm, plastic right so and it can also stand alone there so you can also do it like that really nice battery case very tough and very durable right so when it comes to the sound quality I would say when it comes to the bass first, um, it's kind of punchy and there's a slight of a vibration. So if you're a deep bass lover, you might consider not to 
think about to buy this earbuds but uh, if you are an acoustic lover a punchy bass lover or vibration or probably you like classic music this earbud is actually good for you and when it comes to the male and female i have no problem when it comes to the vocals it has a 10 millimeter driver there which gives you a crystal clear when it comes to the sound quality and also audio quality right guys so if you love acoustics and also treble sound grab the tuzu g1 right so next is we're going to test the mic if it is good or not we're going to do some indoor and the outdoor right so let's go for the indoor first and guys this is the mic test of the tuzu g1 i'm wearing now the left bud also the right bud and as you can see it's very clear and very stable and you can hear also the outside environment so especially if someone is actually talking to you while you're playing your games i love this very much because even when you're talking to your teammates especially when you're trying to play your pubg mobile i like it so much it's stable and it doesn't actually uh, have a cut when it comes to the mic quality and guys this is the mic test again of the tuzu g1 testing one two three four one two three four and guys here this is the tuzu g1 mic test testing one two three four one two three four here in the outdoor i'm wearing some masks and as you can see you can hear me loud and clear there is a construction going on over there outside and there's a um, noise coming out and as you can see there's a slight of noise reduction there but typically you can hear it right now let me try to remove my mask all right so this is the clarity of the tuzu g1 mic test Testing one two three four one two three four wearing the left bud and also the right bud there and this is what's good with the gaming earbuds because it's not just having a giving you a low latency but it also give you a crystal clear sound with a longer battery life. Right, so that was the mic quality of the Tuzu G1 and as you can see most of the gaming earbuds is having a very good mic quality. And when I like it, it's because of the longer battery life of each of the earbuds there, at least 6 hours. Now, I've been using outside for more than 6 hours already. Sometimes it will take around 4 days for me not to charge the earbuds. And this is what I really like with the Tuzu G1. And the next is, I'm going to do the most awaited part here is the latency test. How good is the latency test of the Tuzu G1? And here we go, guys. And here is the low latency test. So we are actually testing it with the latency there, especially when it comes to the media and also with the video. Okay, so as you can see, when you try to hit the, the floor there, boom, and there's a slight of a delay only. So it's not really a high latency, but it will give you a low latency. Here we're going to slow it down. And you can see one of my minimum uh, seconds there is the... 51 milliseconds there and again we're going to hit the floor there all right and there you go and there goes the sound all right so it's just only a slight delay so i could say that it's even not in the game mode so it's having a very good low latency there and last is there you go guys okay so that's the sound of the delay right so next is here okay so it's not noticeable when it comes to the low latency okay so the delay is not noticeable especially watching the video and watching a video especially with a youtuber with a product review it's actually perfect fit to watch your tuzu g1 together with your favorite product review youtuber and besides that when you try to game mode on it's even giving you a low latency when you play an apps game and what I really love is playing the PUBG Mobile, the sound of the vehicle and also the footsteps of the enemy. You can hear the left and also in your right earbuds and even a far away, it sounds realistic. And speaking about water resistant level, yes, it does have a water resistant level only to splash proof. And here are the tapping features of the Tuzu G1. Right, so that was the latency test of the Tuzu G1 and also the tapping features. And the price is around 29.99 US dollars in the official website. And you can also search it in the e commerce site like AliExpress and also with the other e commerce platform. Right, guys? So, why you should take the Tuzu? This earbud seems to be having the low latency of around 45 milliseconds. And what is good with this earbud, it has a longer battery life. And what is good with this, and even though it's having a Bluetooth 5, it's actually 
having a stable connectivity. It doesn't have any wireless charge, but you're still gonna love especially when it comes to the design of the earbuds and also with the longer battery life, right guys? So let me know what you think of that Tuzu G1. Is it good? Is it bad? If you have any question, just comment below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe now and see you in my next unboxing and review of our new gaming earbuds there. Bye-bye!